an extremely common way of failing your driving test is because you're driving too slow. Guys, it happens all the time. It's right up there in the top five. So students will erroneously go to their test and think, oh, I, I need to look really safe today. I, I've, I've got to be like the safest ever today. And they it backfires on them because they choose to wait for huge gaps or they become hesitant or they just don't, don't drive very fast at all. I've had people fail their test for doing 17 miles an hour before on their driving test. It's too slow, yeah? Um, the whole, the, the point of this test is to go in there and be, I am the finished article. I've had all these driving lessons. I am finished. I am a driver now. Like all the learner in me has gone and it's been taught out of me or I feel confident enough to take these gaps that are, are correct for me and I'm driving the speed limit if I can, right? It's, it's really important. Now I'm going to talk about a mock test that I once did and hopefully this will prove the point. So I'm pretty sure it was our first mock test. Anyway, so we went out there. I like doing a few mock tests. But anyway, we went out on this mock test and we were doing the mock test and my student was driving quite slow, right? So I was sitting there thinking, right, okay. And I looked at the clock. Don't forget that a mock test is supposed to be 38 to 40 minutes, right? So we're driving around and when the clock gets to 30 minutes, so we've been on a mock test for 30 minutes, we haven't got out of second gear yet. There is absolutely no way in the history of ever that you can pass your test for using first and second gear. That's impossible. So even though I hadn't taken her on a route which was out of town, so we were doing a town route, which is possible. Yeah, you may only have like 20s and 30s on the test that you've got. Yeah, but she didn't get out of second. Now, the reason why this is an instant fail is because if I'm a driving examiner and I've never met her before, Who's to say that she's never used three, four, five, and six? This person's never met but you before, right? So I know as her driving instructor that she's capable of going into those gears because I've taught her how to drive, right? So I know that it's in there somewhere, but she it hasn't come through on this mock test that she's presented today. So if I'm pretending to be somebody that she's never met before, you're going to be like, We've only used first and second. Does she even know that three exists? Does she know that four, five and six exists? Of course it's a fail because there's no skill. I've, ne I've not seen any skill. I've not seen her change from third to second or third to first or fourth to second or fourth to first or higher gears down to a lower gear like fifth to fourth or sixth to fourth. There's no... I can't see any skill. So every time we've come up to um, a hazard like a roundabout or whatever... It's either that we can just go straight away because if it's clear second gear and we've been able to go straight away or it's closed. So we've just come up and it's, we can't see and we've stopped and gone to first. So we've only had those re like ray of like two gears. So clearly that, that was definitely a fail. Like it had to be. And it, it makes sense, right? I don't think I've ever done a mock test with that before, but this one was one to talk about. Now, I've got no idea whether like this is you, but it is extremely common for the student not to go fast enough. So like I say in my other videos, yeah, if you're on a 60 mile an hour road and there's no hazards and it's long and straight, the examiner is going to expect 45 from you if there's no hazards, if there's no puddles, if there's no rain, if there's no bends, if there's no other car, if there's no cyclist, bike or horse, right? Um motorbike that is um you've got to show that you've you can use everything in the car that's why all the ancillary controls are like squirting water on the windscreen you've got to have a whole array of like norm normalcy like in driving like i know how to control this car yeah so um yeah so what i'm trying to get at is make sure that when you go to this driving test that you're driving at normal speed and that you're showing all the skills that you've learned if you don't know how to change gear down as in three to two or four to two and you're still having coasting problems or you don't quite know how to slow the car down you need to go to your next driving lesson and and just say look i really haven't got this changing down thing right? It, it is absolutely vital that you know how to change the car from a high gear to a low gear to do roundabouts, turns, complex junctions, right? Really, really important. If you're trying to stay in a low gear just because a hazard's coming up, 
you need to address that and you need to think, do you know what, I'm staying in these low gears because I don't actually feel confident to change down. Um, you need to go out there and get that sorted. Yeah. So if you've got a driving lesson planned with your driving instructor and you secretly know <laughs> uh, that you're weak at that, just go in there and go, do you know what, I need to admit this, hands up, I'm, I'm not like, I'm not very good at changing from fourth to second or, or third to second yet. Can we just nail it today? Can we go in there? Because that's very important. All right, guys, hope you have a nice day and I'll see you on the next one.